paleo, keto, vegan, gluten-free, organic, flexitarian. No matter what your eating habits or dietary restrictions might be, odds are there's a prepared meal delivery program that can meet your needs. And lucky for me, I get to try out some of CNET's favorites. I know this will come as a huge surprise to most of you, but I live alone. And cooking for one has often been a challenge for me. I can cook, but I get tired of eating leftovers for days on end. So meal kits and prepared meal plans sound like a dream come true. But how do you choose the right one? CNET contributor and Chowhound editor David Watsky has had the enviable task of sampling many, many different services and meal plans to compile our best lists for meal kit and prepared meal services. You can find links to all his favorites in both categories in the description for this video. Now, if you really like to cook and would like it even better if all the ingredients showed up at your door, be sure to check out my friend Lexi's video comparing her favorite meal kits. They look delicious, but also like a lot more work than I'm interested in doing just to feed myself. So I went the easy route and decided to try three different meal services that are delivered fully cooked and only need to be reheated. In this video, I'm going to be sampling offerings from Freshly, Trifecta, and Fresh and Lean. The beauty of these prepared meal services, and others like them, is how easy the process is from start to finish. You go online, choose the food you want, either as part of a plan or a la carte, and a few days later a box shows up on your doorstep. Just pop the meals in the refrigerator or freezer, and when you're hungry, pick out a dish, heat it up, and enjoy. Now you may be thinking these are basically just glorified TV dinners, and in a way you're not wrong. However, most of these services cook the food just before it's shipped to your house, so the ingredients are as fresh as possible. The meals don't sit on store shelves, so they're not full of preservatives or tons of salt. And these companies specialize in catering to different dietary plans or preferences. So if you're on a keto diet, trying to go plant-based, or just looking for fresh organic ingredients, you'll be a lot better off with one of these plans than a freezer full of Hungry Man's. Personally, I'm not on any specific diet plan. I'm just tired of eating sandwiches and ordering from DoorDash all the time. So I'm looking for a variety of good tasting food that's hopefully also healthy and is easy to prepare. And that's where these big boxes of food come in. Just for the record, Freshly and Trifecta were kind enough to send me some samples of their meals, but I ended up buying the ones I got from Fresh and Lean. But rest assured, I will not let those facts influence my opinions one way or the other. Let's start things off with Freshly. The first box that arrived at my house was from Freshly. Freshly offers a variety of meals that one might consider comfort food, like meatloaf or shepherd's pie but makes them using less sugar, less processing, and more nutrients. There is a freshly fit plan to help support your workout regimen, and all their meals are 100% gluten-free. Pricing varies depending on how much you order. Four meals a week will cost you about $11.49 each, but if you get 12 a week, it goes down to $8.49, a significant savings. So how do they taste? So they sent me cauliflower shell beef bolognese, steak peppercorn with sauteed carrots and French green beans, Homestyle chicken with masterful mac and cheese. For my first meal, I've decided to go with the tangy turmeric turkey bowl with sweet potato and shredded Brussels. Let's take a look. Looks about like any other meal I'd expect to find in the frozen food section, but this is not frozen, it's fresh. We're gonna microwave for three minutes and then let stand for two minutes. Here we go. All right, meal number one. Looks pretty good. We've got our grains, we've got our turkey, we've got our sweet potatoes, and Brussels sprouts in there somewhere. I have to say that was a pretty good dish to start with. The turkey was nice and tender. Everything tasted nice and fresh. The grains still had a little bit of a bite to them. They didn't taste all mushy like they might be if they were frozen. All in all, I'd call the first meal a success. See you tomorrow for the next one. It's lunchtime on Saturday, and today on the menu we have Kung Pao steak with basmati rice and toasted cashews. Not super appetizing presentation, but it's not any worse than a lot of the frozen dinners I have. Let's open this up and pop it in the microwave. It smells good. Okay, time to dig in. This looks pretty good. We've got our steak, we've got our rice, some broccoli, some veggies. This is very tasty. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. A bit of spice, but not overly hot. Steak's nice and tender. I like that a lot, very tasty. I'm gonna have to call that one a hit. My next selection was homestyle chicken with masterful mac and cheese and green beans. It looked very appetizing, but it was kind of flavorless. And I finished out my sampling from Freshly with cauliflower shell beef bolognese. It was my first time trying pasta made from cauliflower, and I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I like that one a lot. 
Way better than it would have been if it was a frozen meal. This is the fourth meal I've had from Freshly, and overall I've been pretty impressed. If I had to rank them, I'd call the steak dish my favorite, then the pasta, then I'd go with the turkey bowl, and finally the chicken with the mac and cheese. I'd happily eat any of those again, but the chicken was a little bit lacking. But there's not time for that now. I've got a bunch of food from Trifecta waiting for me, and I'm gonna start digging into that at dinner tonight. The next selection to cross my threshold was a huge delivery from Trifecta. Just bringing them into the house was a workout. If Freshly emphasizes comfort food, Trifecta's main goal appears to be good tasting food for fitness enthusiasts. The name refers to what the website calls the three fundamental areas of health, mind, body, and social. The website offers a quiz to help you find the right meal plan to reach your goals. They include keto, paleo, vegan, and vegetarian options, or you can pick an a la carte bundle to help with meal prep. Trifecta uses mostly organic ingredients as well as humanely raised chicken and grass-fed beef. Trifecta has a minimum order of seven meals, which starts at $109, but you can skip an order anytime. Also, they come on a weekly rotating menu, so you don't get to choose your meals. But I'm not here to take quizzes. I'm here to eat. What do we got here? I'm not gonna read through all these, but we've got creamy tomato sauce pasta with salmon, Cajun shrimp and chicken sausage with Brussels sprouts, mushroom pasta with grass-fed beef meatballs, I got such a big selection from Trifecta from both their clean and their paleo lines, so I'm gonna try two from each. First up is gonna be sesame vegetables with braised beef, a paleo dish. There's a little bit less packaging than the Freshly meals, so you can see right away what you're getting. I wouldn't say it looks beautiful at this point, but it does look fresh. Another thing that's different is that they recommend heating on a skillet, air fryer, or oven, and only using the microwave as a last resort. So I'm gonna take their suggestion and heat this up in a pan. Almost feels like I cooked it myself. Let's see how it tastes. I think it looks better than if it had come out of a microwave. Trifecta says all the veggies are organic. I'm not sure about the meat. The beef itself was very tender, very tasty, and probably my favorite part. The greens were very crisp. The carrots were maybe a little mushy. And I'm not a huge fan of cooked cabbage, so I think maybe that was affecting my enjoyment. I could have heated this up a little more and gotten the beef a little bit hotter. Everything tastes nice and clean. But we'll see what Trifecta has in store for me tomorrow at lunch. Lunch the next day was mushroom pasta with grass-fed beef meatballs. This one had chickpea pasta, another first for me, but I liked finding out about these pasta alternatives. That was followed by something called vegetales con pollo. It took me a while to figure out that this word is Spanish for vegetables, not a typo, nor a reference to the VeggieTales cartoon series. I also tried out a new scheme for heating up the proteins from the dishes first, then adding the rest of the ingredients toward the end. Browning the chicken breast first really did the trick. Meal number four from Trifecta today, and I've been looking forward to this one. Cajun shrimp and chicken sausage with Brussels sprouts. A lot of Brussels sprouts in a lot of these dishes. I do like that the packaging can give you a good idea of what to expect before you even open it up. I'm looking forward to this. Very tasty. I can sense a little bit of the spice. Not too bad just the right amount so far. That sausage is really good. It doesn't taste over-processed or like it has a lot of extra ingredients. Well, the Cajun shrimp and sausage were definitely worth waiting for. Between the shrimp and the sausage and the chicken and all the vegetables and the rice and the sauce, all the flavors worked really well together. I was really impressed. Looking at the four dishes I tried from Trifecta, we're gonna have to rank them in reverse order. My favorite was this one, the Cajun shrimp and sausage, followed by the Mexican flavored vegetables and chicken, followed by the mushroom pasta and meatballs, and finally, the sesame vegetables with braised beef. There was nothing really wrong with any of them, but these last couple were really my favorites. My third delivery came from Fresh and Lean, which I was very excited about. The company is ranked as the best overall on our best list, so I had to make sure to try it for myself. Fresh and Lean offers the Protein Plus meal plan for all the gym rats out there, plus keto, paleo, two different vegan plans, and bulk items for the meal preppers. Fresh and Lean promises organic vegetables and premium proteins free of antibiotics and added hormones. Healthy snacks like flavored almonds and beef jerky are also available. The price per meal varies greatly depending on the plan you select and the number of meals per week. If you select lunch or dinners only, they're around $15 per meal, but you can get it down to roughly $10 to $12 if you order 10 or more meals per week. It's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive either. And I'm about to find out if these meals are worth the money. 
fresh as frick, it says on the top of there, right? A snack here. Cinnamon maple recipe almonds. This packaging looks awfully familiar, doesn't it? Looks like Trifecta and Fresh and Lean use the same packaging equipment. So what do we got here? We've got garlic confit, roasted sweet potatoes with salmon, chipotle lime chicken with broccoli, beef, chili, meat, and mushrooms. We've got a selection here from the Protein Plus and Paleo categories. Fresh and Lean doesn't frown on microwaving, so I guess that should make prep a little easier. For lunch today, I've decided to go with the chipotle lime chicken with broccoli. Let's give it a shot. They didn't say anything about poking any holes in the plastic or anything, so fingers crossed. Anything exciting going on? After heating, use a sharp or serrated knife to cut the film along groove of the inner tray wall. It's easier than it sounds. Or, er. ooh, that's hot. Like a lot of things you put in the microwave, they don't always come out looking as great as they did when they went in. It's not always about the looks though, so let's give it a try. Looks like a healthy dish, veggies, chicken, sauce, and not much else. It's a good sized portion too, without a ton of calories. Everything seemed fresh, everything seemed lean, so I guess they're living up to the name so far. I wonder how it would have fared if I heated it up in a pan like I was with the trifecta dishes. Well, all right, not too shabby. Not great, but not bad either. The flavors were subtle, I would certainly eat this again, but I probably won't be dreaming about it tonight. It was back to the frying pan for the rest of the selections from Fresh and Lean. I was getting better results, even if it meant a little bit more cleanup. These Italian chicken sausages browned up nicely and paired well with the pesto rice that came with them. I also enjoyed the garlic confit roasted sweet potatoes with salmon, though I kind of made a mess out of this nice piece of fish while I was heating it up. It didn't affect the taste though. It's time to finish off our fresh and lean journey with a roasted pepper burger with kale. Another paleo dish. This burger is definitely going in the pan to get heated up. No bun and no cheese on the burger today, but I guess that's the paleo way of life. I think this one's ready to go. I'll skip adding the rest of this grease. I would love to slap a piece of cheese on there, but we'll leave this as it is. Okay, so this is the roasted pepper burger with kale. Seems like they could really be promoting the potatoes over the kale, but to each their own. That's some good tasting beef. The burger patty on its own is a little dry, but when you mix it all together, it tastes pretty good. Maybe it's because I haven't had a burger in a while, but this might be my favorite from Fresh and Lean. Everything tasted really good together. Sure, I would have liked a bun with my burger, but it was fine the way it was. If I'm ranking these right now, I am going to put this burger and kale first, followed by the Italian chicken sausage with pesto rice. Then I'd say the salmon with the garlic confit. And finally, the chipotle lime chicken with broccoli. Of course, I wouldn't say no to eating any of them again, but if someone asked me which one I wanted, I'd have to say this one. While I didn't set out to crown the ultimate prepared meal delivery service, I guess in my own way, I did end up picking a winner. Though Freshly and Trifecta delivered some meals that I really enjoyed, and have meal plans that suit many different needs and appetites, I actually decided to sign up with Fresh and Lean on an ongoing basis. I actually just got my first weekly recurring delivery, that I paid for, with my money, and CNET's not paying me back for it. I wouldn't call this an endorsement though. I just found that Fresh and Lean had the selection of meals that I thought I would like to eat on a regular basis at a cost that seemed fair. And like I said before, these are only three of so many different services that we have on our best list. So if none of these appeal to you, go check out the list to see if anything else strikes your fancy. But for now, after eating all that food, I better go find our best list for home gym equipment. See you next time.